Alright guys, come on, so come back to the book. Chroma, so 31 on 14 on next gen. And Daniel Sturridge is back from injury next week. <laughs> Yeah, I just had to dance when I heard that noise because Daniel Sturridge. And I'm just looking forward to these three linking up Suarez, Sturridge and Coutinho. Coutinho, Sturridge and Suarez go together like David Moyes and losing. It's just a perfect combination. Just look at his face. Daniel Sturridge. I mean, how can you not like Sturridge? But what do you legends think to Sturridge coming back from injury? Because I just think it's fucking brilliant news. It really is. But obviously, you legends that don't support Liverpool will be fucking hating that news because I tell you what, he's going to fucking score past you. Daniel Sturridge, that's what he does. He's a complete fucking striker. He can fucking take you on. He's got the pace and he fucking scores goals. It's simple as that. Right, we got all sitting next to a fucking brick through their window. Across it's Sturridge. Oh, it's beautiful. Go on, Coutinho. Oh, -ho! look at this from Coutinho, you mad bastard. He just did Steve Brooks's car in the fucking car back. Get in, Coutinho, son. Get you an Agus, son. Oh, the bar again. Can you. Whoa, what the fuck's going here? Across the end of Sun. Go on, Suarez. Oh, the bar again. Oh, brilliant, Coutinho. Whoa, what the fuck's an Austin? He was spinning on his fucking head there. Oh, for fuck's sake, would you? That's actually a realistic result, considering we got a fucking beat at the KC Stadium, so I'm all right with that draw. On Wednesday, Juan Mar got subbed off, and he looked pissed off, and you could tell he was unhappy, but apparently he still doesn't want to leave Chelsea. Yeah, I collapsed when he heard that. How the fuck can Mourinho keep treating him like this? But I tell you what, if I was Rodgers, I'd be putting a fucking bid in for him because just imagine that Coutinho might be on Sturridge and Suarez. Fucking hell. Having that legendary beard at Liverpool. Just do it now, Rodgers. Just fucking do it. Just quickly run. Run to the fucking bank and get the money for him because fucking hell. He's, just, he's worth every penny. One matter. One matter. His legendary beard. I know the Chelsea fans love Mourinho, but the way he's treating Matt is absolutely disgusting. Just don't we put a bid in for him. But Chelsea will tell us to fuck off because Mourinho hates Liverpool. Well, Mourinho, you can fuck off because the way you're treating Matter should be a fucking crime. You should be a fucking crime watch, Mourinho. What do you legends think to this Matter situation? And what do you think will happen to Matter? Do you think he'll stay and sit on the bench or do you think he'll leave in January? I personally think he'll sign for PSG because Chelsea don't want to sign him to another Premier League club. But I'd love to see him at Liverpool. I really would. Right, we've got Norris next. Let's absolutely bite the shit out of him. Oh, it's a beautiful ball. Go on, Draxler, son. Oh, it's beautiful. Shoot, Draxler. Yes, Draxler, you beautiful man. Oh, he done him. Oh, he stepped over him. Go on, Salah. Shoot, son. What the fuck are you doing, Salah? Oh, he's still got it. Shoot, Salah. Yes, Salah. Oh, shit, that ass, Salah. Go on, son, the Egyptian Messi. I see you, baby. Shaking that ass. Oh, that's brilliant, Saka. Well, actually, that one fucking brilliant. No! Oh, for fuck's sake, Saka has just costed me a goal. What the fuck we... Oh, shit, actually, I'm not going to say not to Saka. He'll fucking destroy me. Yes, that's a great win. Apparently, Higuain could be signing for Chelsea. <laughs> Yeah, I almost screamed on here that because I'd be pissed off if Higuain signs for Chelsea. I really will. What a player he is. All you legends know how much I rate Higuain. It's miles better than Benzema. And that just shows how fucking stupid Real Madrid are. They sell Ozil and fucking Higuain and keep Benzema and fucking Sam Bill. Today Mourinho came out and said that Chelsea aren't bidding for Higuain, but we all know he's going to bid for him because they're so unbelievably desperate for a striker. I can actually see a swap deal happening. Matter plus cash for Higuain. Seriously, because Napoli want Matter and I don't blame them. Who don't fucking want Matter? Can and to be honest, that's a good deal for Chelsea because it's just awful to see Matter rotting on the bench. Right, we've got West Ham next. This should be a fucking pie up somehow. Dice his ass. Oh, there's Downing. Snap the bastard. Go on. Hey, referee. I'm allowed to punch Downing. Everyone in the world should punch Downing. Hey, referee. Look at this from Cow and Co. Hey, referee. Go on, Stevie. Go on, Stevie. Oh, what the fuck was that, Stevie? I think he was here for that fucking camera. Hey, ref or re? Did you see what he did to Suarez? He just nearly ended his fucking career then, ref. This ref or re? It's a disgrace. Ah, oh, it's a brilliant ball, Sturridge. Go on, Jackson, shoot, son. Go on, Suarez. Hey, ref or re? The goalkeeper just took him out there, ref. This ref or re is a disgrace. Send him to jail. Shoot, Suarez. 
Yes, Luis Suarez. I love you, Suarez. Oh, yes, I've missed Steve Bruce. Whoa, Steve Bruce is running. Whoa, he's still twitching to a fucking fight. Go on, Suarez. Bite some of that his fucking head off. Oh, look at it. Whoa, he's full, he's full of ball. Oh, well, who cares? It's Suarez. He's a magician. He's fucking go full the ball. Yes, that's a fantastic win. No love for downing that Liverpool. Yeah, there might not be no love, but I've got a baseball bat for his fucking face. That's how much I hate downing. Fuck off, downing. That was the best thing that happened to us in years, us selling downing, because just imagine where we'd be if we'd have kept downing. Have any of you legends noticed how well Liverpool have done ever since we sold downing? Exactly, because he's shit. There's been some terrible nugs in Man United. Coke's told that Leco that he didn't want to join Man United and that he wants to stay. <laughs> Yeah, I have to admit, I started laughing when I heard that because things just get worse for Moyes and Man United. They've got quite a few injuries, no one wants to join them, and they're not doing well in the league. If I was David Moyes, I'd just fucking run. Man United are pretty much fucked. The players don't want to play from Van Persie, just, he don't give a shit about Man United at the moment, does he? Even Spurs look better than Man United, I never thought I'd ever say that. Fergie should get his phone ready for the end of the season because he's going to fucking need that phone to call Nan 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 for a fucking ambulance because he's going to be having strokes when they end up finishing the top four. What do you legend think to Koke staying at Atletico and the way Man United? United at the moment. I don't think I've ever seen my United this bad in my life. But one thing I do know is Rooney, Van Persie and Gagal will be running for the fucking door as soon as they finish outside the top four. They'll literally be jumping out the front fucking window at Old Trafford. Right, we've got spares next. It's a walking stuck up their ass. Oh, go on Coutinho. Cross it, son. Go on, Suarez. Yes, Luis Suarez. Whoa, fucking hell, Dawson. Whoa, Dawson kisses him on his lips and he kisses his balls. YMCA. Oh shit. Ooh, sold that's typical sold that they don't fucking run. He only runs after fucking ice cream vans him. Oh shit, was that Soldado? Is this Soldado could score a goal like that? He only scores penalties and tappings. Hey! Ref! Referee! That is always injured storage as well! Referee! Someone get the prison van now and put him in the back of it because that is shocking from Den Bale. He deserves a prison sentence for that. Oh, it's brilliant. Go on, Suarez. Shoot, son. Oh, the post. Go on, Sturridge. Yeah, hey, referee. See you pulling it back, ref. Bears right there, you bastards on this game. Oh, look at that. Oh, go on, Sturridge. Yes, Daniel Sturridge. Oh, I love you, Sturridge. Whoa, he took him for the fucking barrier then. Oh, look at this pass from Stevie G. Oh, what a run that is from Sturridge as well. Oh, look at this. Fucking Gomez had no chance. Why the fuck is Gomez in goal anyway? He's shit. What the fuck does he do? Can't believe he still has spares. Look at that. Daniel Sturridge. I can't wait to see him back in real life. I just love him so much. <laughs> Sturridge, what the fuck's he doing? He thinks he's a fucking dinosaur, doesn't he? Yes, that's a sensational win. Right, some FA Cup matches this weekend, which is kind of shit because nothing compares to the Premier League, let's be honest, but anything's better than international matches. So anyways, let's predict this weekend's matches. Arsenal versus Tottenham, I think Arsenal win 2-1, but fuck knows what teams will be out for that match since it's FA Cup. Arsenal might not even give a shit about the FA Cup. But if both teams put the best teams out, then Arsenal win because they've just got a better squad, haven't they? Let's be honest. So yeah, I'm sticking with 2-1. Christian Eriksen will score for spares and Walcott will score both for Arsenal. Liverpool versus Oldham, I think Liverpool win 3-1, but I don't know what squad they'll put out. They might put some youngsters out there, which they probably will. But I don't I don't think we'll put all our youngsters out because you can't underestimate all of them. We got beat by him last season. But whatever happens, here, Moses don't fucking play. Otherwise, we'll lose fucking 88 nil or something like that. So yeah, if Moses don't play, we'll win 3-1 and Suarez will score because I know he'll want to play because you can't say no to Suarez. Seriously, he wants to play every game and that's why you got to love Suarez. He just loves football. He playing a friendly against the fucking Sunday League team, Suarez. So yeah, 3-1, Suarez will score two goals. Fucking Sterling will score and uh, they'll score an header because we can't defend set pieces for our fucking lives. Man United versus Swansea, I think this will be a 1-1 one -one draw and it will be a fucking replay because Man United are in shit form at the moment. And I actually think Swansea will start to play well now because they had a shit start to the season. But I'll tell you what I do know is Man United will put a strong squad out against Swansea because they'll be desperate to win the FA Cup because they're doing so shit in the league. So yeah, I'm going for 1-1. One -one. Yanazai will probably fucking dive again and win a party for Man United. That's how they'll score. And fucking Ashley Williams will fucking punch the ball in the net like the cunt he is. And that's how Swansea will score. So yeah, that's my predictions for the FA Cup matches this weekend. But what do you legends think? Also, so you can let me know what you think will win the FA Cup. I actually think Arsenal or Liverpool will win the FA Cup. I really do. I think one of those two teams will win it. And that'd actually be a good final, that like Arsenal Liverpool. What a final that'd be. I'd love to see that final. Two fucking great teams that play great football. But anyways, there you are. Have a great day and see you later.